I think you make drugs inside you or on your person. If you don't do the x-ray, you stay with us until you've produced two clear bowel movements, however long that may take. The body language of one passenger has caught the eye of officers. He's been acting nervously since coming through immigration, so he's pulled over to answer a few questions. I planned it about uh, oh, no, a month ago. I bought the ticket early last week. I bought the travel. So did you got from Canada to Yeah, 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 to no, just uh, yeah. Yeah, I went from there. But I figured it's better to go there first and all the back just to make sense. A quick search of the man's suitcase has revealed nothing suspicious. But his animated and nervous behaviour is causing great concern. Yeah. Have you used any cocaine while you've been away? No, I haven't. So if we do an X-ray of you, there'll be no cocaine in your system. Do you have no packages? No, no packages. You sure? Do you have no problem doing an X-ray? Well, I'm going on the side. You have to do an X-ray? Yeah. <laughs> Are you sure about this? I'm sure. Yeah? But the man's answers aren't convincing, and he started to sweat noticeably. A swab test of his suitcase is carried out for any traces of drugs. The machine gives an extremely high reading for the presence of cocaine. As the circumstances become even more suspicious, Officers escort the man to a private interview room for questioning. Here, they hope he may confess to being a drug smuggler. You can't stop talking. You look as nervous as anything. Do you understand what I'm saying? Okay, go on. I think you may have drugs inside you or on your person. Okay? He's basically done a couple of uh, iron tracks and they've come up quite high. He suspects that it may be internal concealment. So he's just having to just arrested him now and then I, I dare say, providing we get acceptance from him, that we'll uh, body scan him just to check that he's clear. Smugglers carrying packages internally often secrete traces of drugs through the sweat in their shoes. A swab test is conducted for any further hits of cocaine. And another very high reading for cocaine causes more concern giving officers a good reason to put the passenger through a full body x-ray. Is this a consent? Yeah, because uh, you're taking our x-ray, Yeah. we need your consent to so say that you'll do it for us. Well, I'm not going to give you my consent. I think this is a load of OK, well, what happens then if you don't do the x-ray? You stay with us until you've produced two clear bowel movements, however long that may take. If you don't want to do that, fine, we'll just take you downstairs, get you custodised, put you in a cell in a white suit, and we'll wait there till you've moved your barrels twice to show there's no packages there. Or we can do it now by doing an X-ray. You're cool. The man's options are limited. They'll find out one way or another whether he swallowed any drugs. Right, now what you need to do, this conveyor belt's going to move, yeah? You're going to stand on it. You need to stand on it as I'm standing on it, nice and straight, yeah? Arms by his side, nice and still. And breathe out slowly, yeah, until your lungs are empty and hold. With the net closing in, officers try to get him to confess. How many packages have you got? I've got one. Cocaine inside you? No. No? Okay. Incredibly, he's still denying it. But the X-ray images confirm their suspicions that he's stuffed with packages. The man is led away to the airport's custody suite. Let us know immediately if you feel unwell. He kept pleading his innocence, but after a week and a half in custody, he eventually went to the toilet and produced 36 packages of cocaine with a street value of over £30,000. Officers have been x-raying suitcases coming off the flight and have identified a number of bags carrying large quantities of tobacco. Officer Brandon spots the first bag being collected by a male passenger and moves into position to intercept him in the customs channels. Hello there, sir, customs. So you come through traveling by yourself today? Yes, sir. Just yourself, is it? Okay. 
Tobacco products purchased in Spain are only allowed to enter the UK if they're for personal use. Have you ever been stopped by customs before? No. Have you purchased any excise goods or has it been away? Cigarettes, tobacco, anything like that? Okay. How much tobacco have you got? I think it's eight packs. As the passenger struggles with the padlock on his bag, Officer Erica has been looking at the passenger list for the flight. Are you travelling with anyone else at all? No. no? But she knows this isn't true. The man is travelling with his wife and he faces an uncomfortable reunion. Excuse me, madam, have you got your passport at all? Me. Yes. Yeah. Your husband's got yeah. it. So you're travelling with your husband? Yeah. Right, OK, if you can step with us, we've just called him in a second. Who's your tobacco for, then? Um, I smoke to myself. Is that your husband there? Two lads, they smoke as well. Right. Right, OK. When did you, when did you last travel abroad? Uh, four weeks this... ago. Who's this? Oh, my wife, so. oh. How, how do you manage to travel alone, then, and all of a sudden your wife's here? <laughs> did you not know you were both flying at the same time? No, she was with me. It was like that, though, when you stopped me. Right. But I asked you again, you still said you weren't travelling with anyone. Right, give me a moment, OK? Brandon decides to run some background checks. The man has been stopped by customs in the past, meaning he's lied more than once. He doesn't know the combination for his case. Uh, he said he's not been stopped by customs on a previous occasion, which, which obviously is a lie again. Uh, there's it's got to be reasons. There's casting a lot of doubt in my mind. Uh, we'll have a look what he's got in there, and we'll take things from there. Oh, you got it off, did you? Yep. The man must prove his tobacco products are for personal use. But given he's lied twice already, Brandon is less inclined to believe anything he has to say. But, uh, what kind of goods do you have there? If they fail to convince officers that the tobacco is only for themselves, they face having all of their goods seized. So you no papers, no filters, no smoking tin? Nothing? What about yourself? Do you have anything like that? You just smoke cigarettes, OK? With the fingers and there's, there's no, no uh, odour, no tobacco odour from them. Uh, I'm quite convinced that they were on smokers. Do you want to come and take the officers decide to take here? the couple away for further questioning. No, you stay separate. I'll get you a seat now. They'll be interviewed separately to see if their stories are the same. If they're telling lies, then, it's very rare that they'll have the same story, um, unless they're well rehearsed. But uh, I, I doubt that is the case. During the interviews, it's revealed that the couple regularly buy tobacco abroad for themselves and their sons. How does that work? Do they tell you how much they want, or do you charge them for the quantity you give them when you get back? I, I pay the bill, you see, and you must split it three ways, whatever it was. But receiving money for goods is an offence, even if it's from family members. I bought it for Christmas presents, mostly, for the children, grandchildren. So why did you lie about travelling with your wife? As I say, it was just, just news, I don't know why I said it. As Brandon and Erica compare notes, there's some inconsistencies in their stories. His wife basically is giving a different story, painting a different picture, really, of where the goods are going and how much um, they've brought back on, on a previous occasion. Um, he's also receiving money for uh, two-thirds of the goods. Um, I believe there's enough grounds for, to make a sort of viable seizure. I'm not satisfied the goods are for yourselves, and there's a commercial element involved, all right? and the goods will be seized from you on this occasion. Reluctantly, the couple sign papers to confirm that their tobacco is all being seized. They'll have 30 days in which to appeal the seizure, but for now, they're leaving empty-handed. <laughs>